Assalomu alaykum. O'tgan darsda biz line graph haqida gaplashgan edik. Bugun bar chart haqida ma'lumot beraman. Nega aynan bar chart? Chunki bar chartni yaxshi o'zlashtirsangiz, siz o'z vaqtida pie chart yoki tableni ham ishlay olasiz. Qani boshladik. Ularning hammasiga bir xil texnika ishlatiladi. Highest point, lowest point and similarities if we have any. Qarshingizda eng oson bo'lgan bar chart turibdi. Demak, ko'rib turganimizdek, bu o'limlar soni va ularning sabablari Avalo tushunib boling. The chart shows the reason for death in someone in 1990. Berilgan vertikal o'xda o'limlar soni, gorizontal o'xda esa ularning sabablari ko'rsatilgan. Eng ko'p o'lim bu tuberkulyozga to'g'ri kelayotgan bo'lsa, eng kami leprosy, ya'ni mahovlikka to'g'ri keladi. Birinchi qism har doimgidek berilgan introductionni paraphrase qilish. Task 1 da umuman o'zimizning fikrimizni ko'rsatmaymiz, chunki hamma narsa bular faktlar. Berilgan topshiriqni sinonim yoki o'xshash bo'lgan so'zlar, frazalardan foydalanib, paraphrase qilishga harakat qilamiz. The chart shows. Bu umumiy jihatdan chart deb aytib ketilyapti. Endi siz uni aniqroq qilib ayting. Ya'ni bar chart. Show feelingning o'rniga bizda bir qancha alternativlar mavjud. Represents, compares, illustrates, depicts va boshqalar. Hozir men comparison foydalanmoqchiman. The bar chart compares the rate of death and their reasons in someone in 1990. Nima uchun rates of death deyapman? Chunki bu yerda o'limlar soni ham ko'rsatilgan. Introduction qismini yozib bo'ldik. Keyingi bosqichimizda biz overview paragraph yozishimiz kerak bo'ladi. Overview nima? Bu butun bir rasmda ko'rinib turgan, ko'zga tashlanib turadigan asosiy eng katta ma'lumotlar. Rasmdan bizga ma'lum bo'lib turgan narsa shuki, o'limlar sababining eng katta qismi tuberkulyozga to'g'ri keladi. Eng kichkina qismi esa mahovlikka. Demak, biz aytishimiz mumkinki, overall tuberculosis caused the most death in some land, while the number of death due to leprosy was the lowest in the year given. Ko'rib turganingizdek, bu juda ham oson chart hisoblanadi, chunki faqatgina bittagina ustun bor xolos. Agar ko'proq ustunlar bo'lsa-chi, keling, ikkita ustuni bor bar chartni muhokama qilib ko'ramiz. Avvalo chartni o'rganish uchun ozgina o'zingizga vaqt bering. Tayyor bo'lsangiz, boshladik. Har doimgidek introduction qismi. The bar chart compares the percentage of various free time activities which are preferred by Australian children. Keyingi qismi overview qismiga o'tsak ham bo'ladi. Ustunlarga qarab aytishimiz mumkinki, watching TV eng ommabop bo'lgan activity hisoblanadi. Demak, biz aytishimiz mumkin, overall Australian children of both genders enjoy watching TV. Juda ham oson. Lekin eng ommabop bo'lmagan activity qaysi? Men ikkita narsa ko'ryapman. Birinchisi skateboarding, ikkinchisi doing art or craft. Bu holatda qanday yo'l tutishimiz kerak? Biz genderlarni, ya'ni jinslarni ajratib olamiz. In addition, the least preferred activity for boys was art or craft, while skateboarding attracted the fewest girls. Mana shunday, biz jinslarni ajratib ham oldik. Bu bizda overview part hisoblanadi. Keyingi qismi asosiy paragraf, ya'ni body paragraf ga o'tamiz. Bunda biz asosiy detallarni yoki ma'lumotlarni to'liqroq ko'rsatib beramiz. Birinchi ustunga qarab, biz aytishimiz mumkinki, The proportion of boys participating in skateboarding was 55% and the proportion of girls participating in skateboarding was 15. Ikkinchi ustunga qarab esa, the proportion of boys cycling was 75% and for girls 55%. Uchinchi ustunga qarab esa, the proportion of boys who enjoy watching TV was 95% and this number for girls was 90%. The proportion for girls who liked playing computer games was 85%, 60% for girls. The proportions of boys and girls who liked doing art or craft were respectively 20 and 60%. Juda ham zo'r, ajoyib. Mana shu sizda body paragraf hisoblanadi. Oh, yana bir narsa. Chiroyli qiz, shunday emasmi? Endichi, yana da chiroyliroq. Endi sababini aytib o'tirishda hojat bo'lmasa kerak. Albatta bu makeup. Biz yozgan report yomon emas, lekin u yaxshiroq ham bo'lishi mumkin edi. Keling biz yozilgan reportga make-up qilishga harakat qilamiz. Buning uchun bizga bir nechta narsalar kerak bo'ladi. A, bular emas. Bizga sifatlar, ravishlar, linking words'lar yoki bo'lmasam, 
qiyoslashni ko'rsatib beruvchi frazalar kerak bo'ladi. Birinchi ustunga qaytamiz va siz quyidagi formuladan foydalanishingiz mumkin. The proportion of boys participating in skateboarding was 55%, which was 40% higher than that of girls. Va ikkinchi ustun uchun esa quyidagi formuladan foydalanishingiz mumkin. The proportion of boys cycling stood at 75%, while the figure for girls was significantly lower at 55%. Uchinchi ustun esa quyidagi formula bilan 95% of boys enjoyed watching TV, whereas the percentage of girls doing this was 5% lower. Turinchi ustun esa in terms of strukturas bilan In terms of playing computer games, the proportion for boys was 85% in comparison with 60% for girls. Ohrgusun as for strukturas bilan. As for doing art or craft, the proportion of boys and girls were respectively 20 and 60%. Bular orqali juda ham chiroyli report hosil qilish mumkin. Shu xolos, salomat bo'ling.